Hey, Gemini. I'm going to get through this reading real quick. I feel like some of y'all are trying to manifest something. Like y'all practicing some form of magic. I really do. Whether it's um, candle magic, whether it's herb magic. Some of y'all are interested in magic. And some of y'all have been working on magic. But it seems like y'all magic then came to some type of halt. I don't know what's affecting it. So I'm going to try to see if these cards, if spirit allow me in. So we can tap in and see what's affecting your, um, your magic. Something's affecting your magic. <clears throat> We're going to use the super attractive deck today. Let's see here. You tell me what's in there. So, you know, respect the energy yesterday to help us with this reading. Sometimes that happens, y'all. Sometimes as we deal with um, spirit as a whole, and then sometimes individual energy step forward. And sometimes it's big energy, like Harry Tumman's. Energy is energy. Spirit is spirit. Spirit, please give me clarity on the sign of Gemini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all gonna have to be still in order to get answers. I know it's gonna be hard for some Gemini's because y'all mind move at the rate of a hundred miles per hour, but you gonna have to get some form of um, rest or restoration going so that you can get answers and clarity about something. Something's blocking you. Blocking you. Yeah, y'all may have blockages in y'all solar plexus and in y'all um, sacral chakras. So some of y'all may have trauma due to um, something dealing with your sacral and your solar plexus. But what I want to say is your sacral is affecting your solar plexus or something happened. Maybe it was something like some form of sexual trauma or sexual abuse that's affecting your solar plexus. But I was showing Leo. That those that are on my frequency, no matter your sign, but Leo is connected to the solar plexus. Um, however, you got blockages. Those who tuning into my frequency, you got blockages in your solar plexus. So when I do candle work like this, and these are conjures herbs in here, it's just doesn't have a label on it. I'm just doing straight chakra energy. However, it's blockages. That's why it's all this sludge. If it was no blockages, then it'd be clear. You see what I'm saying? So. A lot of people on my frequency gonna be getting married too. I don't know. That's just what spirit gave me. But even with this one, you see how this one is clean? And how that one has sludge is because you got blockages in your solar plexus. Those that are tuning into my frequency. Now, this has a black slit on the back of it. I was showing somebody y'all yesterday. You see that black slit? Okay. That black slit shows me that people are talking about you. Or that you're starting to speak up for yourself, which is the reason why this is going to be clearing up or is clearing up is because you're starting to stand up for yourself and speak your mind and set boundaries like you're supposed to because it's your life. People don't like it. Some people don't like it, but um, this is more clear than your solar plexus, okay? And your solar plexus is one of the foundational chakras. Your throat chakra comes after the solar plexus. So you want to work on your sacral and your solar plexus. I have candles to help clear up any blockages that are in your um, chakra system. And if you want to get this and Reiki done, you can also get that done. I'll leave my website in the description box. Yeah. You can make an appointment. I mean, you can book online, appointment, whatever. Personal readings for um, distant Reiki, or you can order candles for yourself online to help clear up, and you will be able to tell the difference. All my candles are Reiki and conjure. This channel is not going to have too much structure or rhyme or reason. I'm just allowing it to flow the way it's going to flow. When I said that, a bubble popped up in that wax. So my intentions are pure. Just know that. The star card. Yeah, healing. Sound for y'all to resource and stuff. Yep. 
You don't have to be still to get answers. Yeah, it might be y'all blocking yourself or spirit blocking y'all to sit y'all down and restrict you somewhat so that you can um, heal in certain areas. Because I feel like y'all burn out. Like y'all um, trying to start a car with no gas in it. Yeah, zero. Uh-huh. There's something going on with y'all solar plexus. Yeah. Yeah, zero. That's what then I just said that? It's like you're trying to start a car with no gas in it? Zero. Yeah, you don't zero. And you got to get some rest and rejuvenation, and then you'll be able to pop right back out and rebuild. You see those leaves growing? Yeah, that's what it is. Ooh, that flipped right now. Yeah, man. Some of y'all dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. Either they coming in and they protecting you, or they're the reason you got some form of trauma in your sacral and in your solar plexus. They may have messed with your um, self confidence. Something, something happened with a fire sign. Something good and something bad. Some of y'all have fire signs that's protecting y'all right now, and then some of y'all were abused by a fire sign. So you gotta get some rest. You gotta rest up. If they weren't a sun fire sign, they got um, fire somewhere in their chart. Mm-hmm. Somebody y'all may have been married to. And then some of y'all are going to be marrying a fire sign. Yeah. I told y'all, people on my frequency are getting married. I don't know why spirit got I'm on my frequency. Because probably because I love marriage. I love the institution of marriage. I think it's a cool concept. The world. Yeah. You want to get your ideas out to the world. You want to press, 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 press. But you don't have any energy to press, 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 press. That's just what I feel. That's what somebody that's watching me. And you got to sit down, sit down, sit down. Yeah, it's that car. I see it. You ain't got no gas. And you keep trying to start and go, go, go. But you got to have gas. You can't pour from an empty cup. It's good that your cup is empty. And now you got to fill it up with good things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, some of y'all, like I said, yeah, man. Some of y'all going to be dating somebody that's your speed, that's on your frequency, that's on your level. A lot of people on my frequency I'm seeing, this is a new channel, but those that are coming around now on this channel, whether it be old people that rock with me would have pure intentions, that have pure intentions, or new people, thank you for those that um, are new to this channel, that subscribe, I really do appreciate it. If you can like, share, and subscribe to this video, that would be great. Um, or subscribe to this channel, that would be great. Yeah. You mean the world to somebody. Some of y'all gonna be, yeah, some of y'all, might be. it may be a Leo or an Aquarius. Another air sign. I got air out here. And I got um, fire out here. And the world card and the emperor. Emperor energy. That's a strong masculine energy. You know? So, if there's any men watching this that are Gemini's, you may have an um, empress energy. You know? It just depends on, you know, what's your sexual orientation. I don't get off into personal business, but... This is an androgynous channel, so it's neither male nor female. But if I feel a heavy masculine energy, then I'm going to say that. And a heavy masculine energy could be coming from a female. A heavy, ma a heavy feminine energy could be coming from a male. It just depends on your story. However, um, somebody changed your life. Some of y'all in a good way and some of y'all in, in not a, such a good way. And y'all got to do some major healing. You're trying to get around it because it's different stuff that you want to contribute to the world and it's different stuff that you want to get out, but you just don't have the energy to keep going. And that's what I feel. But you will, once you submit to whatever it is that your ancestors, guys, or the universe is trying to show you that you need to submit to. Healing. <laughs> that's what I heard. Healing. That's what they want to submit to. Okay. Drink more water. Pray tonight for your country, for every country you're coming from or living in. Some of y'all that have some third eye activation. I gotta get used to shuffling on the six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of y'all 
I headed towards a healthy union. I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah, commitment, happy ending, wealth, marriage, reciprocity on a soul level, infinity. Some of y'all coming out of something that was a high level commitment that was very toxic and you got to heal from it. And you're going to meet somebody and you're going to recommit and you're going to do all the things that you always wanted to do. But it's going to be with the right person and it's going to last. Infinity, okay? On a soul level. And some of y'all have somebody in your corner right now, but you still got to do the work to heal whatever the last person left you with. The attachment. Gotta get to it up. Working that magic, but you working in fire. You working it angrily. If y'all working with candles and stuff, as angrily as a word. <laughs> but if y'all working candle magic and stuff like that, you add too much fire because you're angry. You repress. You got repressed anger, and that can turn into disease and it can turn into depression. But you don't want that going into any form of your magic. You gotta be neutral when you're doing any form of magic because it can mess up and fizzle you out faster than. You naturally fizzing out because you need the rest of the rejuvenation. Victory lap, get to me now. Yep, oh, um, meditate. Yeah, it's time to lay it down. That's just what it is. <laughs> Y'all getting everything that's uh, strange, the star card, the fool, you know, reestablishing yourself once you come out of this healing energy, this meditative state, world, emperor, and y'all may need to meditate more and get into a peaceful vibration more. I'm talking about sitting in a house, total silence, nobody can talk, you know, that type of vibe. I want to see what's talking, y'all. It gotta be y'all, because y'all don't want to eat. You ain't got, you empty. You gotta, you gotta refill your cups. Oh, this yellow, yellow there, yellow there, yellow there. You got a lot of cards with yellow, so that's showing me if you got boxes in your shoulder presses, it just aligns. That's how magic works. Everything that's hidden is brought to light, and then you're able to diagnose whatever the problem is that is unseen. I accept that good things come easily. I am a super attractor. You see that? Accept that good things come easily because things are, are going to be working out in your favor while you rest and restore because you put in a lot of work already. You've built a brand. You've built something. You've built something worth something. I don't know what it is, but this is somebody you already going to put it. You see all that yellow? That's strength. So now you may have blown out. Some of y'all may have blown out your solar plexus because you're trying to push when you should be sitting down and allow things to work out and come to you naturally because you put in the work. You really have. Instead of worrying about the future, I know all is well when I'm aligned in the moment. Yep, some of y'all, yeah, man, worried about their future. It's going to give you anxiety. You cannot be in two places at one time. You can only be where you're at. And spirit is sending y'all down. I knew it. I love my answers, I swear I do. Y'all cannot see this, and I'm so aggravated. I'm going to post it on my business page, Eternal Dragonfly, if y'all want to see it and live in color, because I kept saying, what is black in Gemini? Okay, this says, appreciation dissolves all blocks to the presence of the super attractor power. Okay? Y'all got to be more appreciative of yourselves first. And recognize the work that you've put in so that when you rest, you can actually rest in peace. I ain't talking death. I'm just saying. You can get some form of inner peace and not have your mind going into this mercury retrograde all over the place, conjuring up the past, conjuring up this, conjuring up, and just allowing stuff to be. And don't worry so much about the future. Don't worry about the future. That's what I say. Instead of worrying about the future, I know all is well when I'm aligned in the moment. Okay? I know it. I kept on digging. I'm a Virgo, baby. I'm about to investigate and dig. I understand that you was the one that's in your way, but it was something else I was trying to get at. So it was really blocking your magic 
Um, one, you're using too much fire because you're repressing some anger, but it's appreciation for yourself first and for the life that you've currently built, the life that you're going to build. Just having an appreciative, gratitude-filled type of vibe is what's going to remove the blockages, and then your magic, all the magic that y'all been working, it's going to start manifesting. You're going to start seeing it. This is beautiful. Don't, don't forget y'all, because I want y'all to see this. When you see the word blocks, it's going to unblock some stuff even by reading this and seeing it clearly. So I'm going to take a picture of this and put it on my business page. So check it out. If you're a Gemini, check it out. If you got it in your chart, check it out. I knew it. <laughs> Yay, Jimmy. All right, y'all. Love and life. Again, like, share, and subscribe. Peace.